hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up Shopify store with Timu. The first thing you will need to do is create an account on Shopify if you don't have one already. In the description, I will be leaving a link that you can click on and you'll be able to set up your Shopify account for completely free as you'll get access to their free trial period so you can set up your Shopify store and then afterward, if it is to your liking, you can start paying $1 for the first month. So you're going to create your account, then you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select apps. As you will need to add an app onto your store that will allow you to import products from Timo. So you're going to tap on apps. After selecting apps from here, you are going to tap on all recommended apps. After selecting all recommended apps, you are going to tap on Shopify App Store. Once you have selected Shopify App Store, the next thing you are going to do is tap on the search bar at the top of the page. And I want you to type in Zoppy. Zoppy is going to be the app that we will be using and you can get started for completely free. So you're going to select Zoppy. After doing that, you're going to tap on install. Once you have installed the app, you're going to select the free plan. And with this free plan, you'll be able to add up to 10 products and you can sell up to five products for completely free. So you're going to install Zoppy, then you're going to tap on open app. And by the way, with Zoppy, you will also be able to add products from AliExpress. Once on Zoppy dashboard, as you can see right here, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select find product. After selecting find product, below the search bar at the top of the page, you're going to tap on source. Then you're going to select Timo. From here, you're going to tap on install extension. Once you have tapped on install extension, you will be redirected to a new page and you're going to simply tap on add to Chrome. After you have selected add to Chrome, you're going to tap on add extension. And from there, you're going to add the Zoppy extension so you can see it right here in the top right hand corner. Once it has been added, all you need to do now, you could tap on the extension icon and you could pin it also. So I could tap on pin so you can see it there. All you need to do now, if we were to go into Timo, so you can see that we are now on timo.com. Once I've refreshed the page, and if I were to select a particular item, let's say for example, I would like to add this item. You can now see once I hover over the item, you see the option add to import list. All I would have to do is simply tap on add to import list. After I've done that, I'm going to log in. So let me log in. So I'll tap right there, and I'm just going to log in using my Google account. Once you have added your store and you're on Timo, all you need to do is simply hover over the product that you would like to add to the import list. So let's say for example, this product right here. Once you have hovered over the product, you're going to see the option add to import list. So I can select it and you can tap on add to import list. After you have selected add to import list, you can see imported successfully. So if I were to go back into Shopify, and go over to the left hand menu option. Let me quickly go back right here. All I would need to do is tap on product center from the left hand menu option. After tapping on product center, you can see the product has been added right there. Now to add it to our store, we'll tap on the icon that says push to store. After you have selected that, you're going to tap on push to store and it will automatically be added to your Shopify store. Now you'll be able to start selling using Timo. So you can see right here, if we were to tap on products, you can see the product has been added right here. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.